All right, welcome back to the Wine Expert Chocolate Raspberry Port Kit. Again, if you remember, I made two kits here, and we're now at the clearing stage. Um, this went a lot longer than I anticipated because life got very busy, and that's the, one of the beauties of winemaking, is that once you get past some of the critical timing stages in the beginning, um, if it takes longer for you to get to the next step, then, you know, more likely than not, things are going to be just fine. So, this actually was sitting there quite a while <laughs> when it didn't need to be. But, everything's going to be just fine, as you'll find out. So, here's our wine. I did two kits, if you remember. And if you can see at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of sediment at the bottom. Now, normally, in most wine kits, I would be racking off of that sediment. But, if we look at our directions, it says, Note, do not rack off the wine before stabilizing and fining. This kit requires you stir the sediment back into its suspension. Racking the wine off the sediment prior to fining may permanently prevent clearing. Please be sure to stir all the sediment up from the bottom. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing then is I'm going to need to be degassing this thing. I'm going to be using my drill mounted um, mixer device that you've seen me use in other videos. But if you can see, this is all the way close to the top. And what will happen if I try to mix that in is that will will uh, overflow. You know, one of the other things that you'll find out is that it says here um, that I'm going to need to remove some wine anyway because I'm going to need to add those F packs the uh, flavoring packs into this. So I'm going to be removing, racking or siphoning off about a uh, little bit, I don't know, half a gallon or so of wine into a gallon jug and then I'm going to be degassing. That'll give me more space at the top of this up here so that um, I won't be making a big mess all over the place. Alright, so I'm going to siphon that off into the jug and we'll be ready to go. All right, I got my handy drill ready. I got my carboy that I've taken off about a half gallon. And one of the things I did is I also shook that up like crazy um, to get off some of the gas in that. We're going to be using that to top up later. But for now, we are going to do gas. Let me set that up for you. And the device I'm using to degas is called a mixer. It's basically a wand that connects to a drill. And this right here. And you can see it has like some fins on the bottom that's going to spin around and stir out the gas. So I'm going to connect this drill to the mixer put on the key so it's not one of those keyless drills sometimes I use my cordless and sometimes I use this one now one of the things I would say is when you're going to do a wine to guess it every wine is a little bit different so if you degas it too hard in the beginning, you might find that a bunch of wine comes out over the top and spills all over the floor. Not what you like. So we're going to hit this slow first and see what happens and then we'll make adjustments based on that. doesn't look like it's overflowing like crazy so we're going to continue to hit this now again in Tim's directions with the wine expert kit he says to stir up all the sediments I'm going to be stirring this like crazy Now, 
that's just the beginning of the stirring. I'm not going to end there. But I do want to say this. The directions say to take the packets of sorbate and stabilizer. I have four packets because, again, I did two kits here. And it says to dissolve these packets in water and then pour them in. Uh, I'm entirely too lazy to do that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking all four of these and I'm going to be pouring them in to the wine like that. If you would like to follow the directions exactly and do that in a half cup of water, which would be a cup of water, you certainly can do that. Um, I'm just going to pour it in here and mix it like crazy. So that was the metabite sulfite, and this is the sorbate. I'm going to mix these things in here like crazy. packets total and I'm going to mix Now I'm going to be doing this for a while to drive off all of the CO2, uh, the bubbles in the wine, and you might be able to see them coming up from the bottom, the bubbles. Uh, you can see at the top here, this line, uh, there's bubbles there. So you want to drive all of that bubbles off. Um, again, we're not making uh, a bubbly wine or anything like that. We're making a uh, wine that should be completely flat as far as the bubbles is concerned. So we're going to stir this like crazy and um, the next step we're going to be doing is after we stir this up a bit we're going to be putting some um, uh, clarifiers in there. Um, now again I'm not using the chitosan. I'm going to be modifying the directions to use the sparkaloid like I've done in all my other videos. Um, again the reason for that is shellfish and um, I am going to be using the non-shellfish sparkaloid for a clarifier. Um, you can use the kind of sand if you want, but basically I'm not going to leave the video on at this point because it's going to be like a good 15-20 minutes of me stirring and why do you need to watch that? I'm just doing the same thing. I'm not going to leave anything out so you'll see the whole process. Alright, I'm going to shut the video off now. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so there you can see I have my sparkaloid powder and mixed with a cup of boiling water. As per the directions, I put a tablespoon in for six gallons. And I'm just going to stir that and let it sit for five minutes and cool off before adding it to the wine. So I've been stirring the wine for a while, getting some of the gas off. I'm going to stir that a little bit more and then I'm going to be adding my F-Packs to this wine. F packs have the raspberry flavoring in it. Alright, I'm gonna stir it a little bit more while the sparkaloid is sitting for a little bit. Alright, be back in a minute. Alright. So now I'm gonna be adding my F packs to the wine. I have this device to take the cap off. And basically you slide it on like that and you pop off the cap. And what we're going to do here now is, as carefully as I possibly can, pour the contents of the F-Packs into the carboy without spilling them, hopefully without spilling them, all over the place. So there we go. Well, what did I just say? Without spilling them. 
wishful thinking, right? We're gonna have to clean that up later. one I've packed down. Now we gotta do the other one. <coughs> easy, easy car boy. Take the other one off. I'll we'll shut these up in the other room before bringing them in here. And the thing is, if you take your eye off this for a second, you'll spill it. So just be really careful. Try not to spill. You see why we had to remove some of that wine right in the beginning? Because there's no room to add these. Now that we've added those, guess what we're going to do? Stir. Now, when you're stirring this time, you got to be real careful because it's full, not to let it go over the top. for a few minutes, then the next step would be to add the sparkaloid in, or the kata sand if you're using the kata sand. Step will be to add a spark wood. And stir some more. <laughs> I'm going to be stirring this for like another five minutes. I'm going to shut the video off and I'll be right back. 
Hey, I don't know if you can see these bubbles coming up on the side. Let's see if you can see this in the video. All of these little bubbles are coming up on the side as I've been stirring. What that is is CO2. And you're trying to stir it all off. Just like, you know, if you had Coca-Cola and you wanted to make a flat Coca-Cola, you'd stir it and stir out the bubbles. But that's exactly what we're doing here with this uh, drill mounted device. Now, you can do this with a long spoon. You see how much I'm drilling with this drill? Imagine what would happen to your arm if you tried to stir out the bubbles with a spoon. All right, you can see all those bubbles coming up on the side. I don't know if you can see this. Try to get a close-up on it. All right, so I'm going to be stirring this a little bit more because I want to try to get more of those bubbles out. Then I'm going to be topping up. Alright, so now I'm going to be trying to remove my mixer without making a mess. A sec. And now finally what we're going to do before putting the top on this is topping up the carboy with some of that leftover wine. See where I topped it up to? That's where I got you want to be. up a airlock. I want to show you what that looks like. This is a uh, top that goes in this section. It's like a little tube on the inside. This goes like that. We fill that with water. Fill that with water and you put it in the hole in the bung. And what that does is that keeps the air from getting in. We're going to let that sit now for 14 to 20 days. Then I'm going to be racking off of this and getting ready to bottle. Alright, so check back soon and you'll be able to see me doing that. And tasting some of this delicious wine while I'm at it. Okay? Alright, catch you later. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.